actually been a pretty good week for the uh, for the Bears, but you know, no no blood. I know a lot of the you know bigger traders are thinking that you know as long as we're supporting this 80 85 range, the market's still going up. And truthfully, you can't argue with that premise. Um, but that being said, we've certainly had a good week for the short side and made some backward thrust. And so now the real key is what, where do we go from here? So looking at this viewpoint, I've got to conclude that still we've got this big support down here until we take that out. We certainly can't claim victory for, for the Bears. In fact, just the opposite. Uh, if, you know, this is a <clears throat> what we had anticipated. We need to come back and test the 92s. Well, guess what? We did this week, and they broke, and then we were able to come back and test the 82s. So it, it's been a fairly contained pullback so far. And obviously, journeys start with a single step. So can't fault that, but we have not made a lot of progress. So I'd say the jury's still out. And we know on a daily basis we're ahead of ourselves. We came back to the green line. We've come back to the red line. So expecting marginal progress and taking time to, to work our way through this, uh, I think that's the common sense way to do it. And by reducing our expectations in a time frame that's notoriously smaller ranges anyways, you know, the month of August, uh, it helps us not to be too greedy. Uh, what, what I find offensive and probably most traders do is the way we've had these sharp pushes in both directions. There's been no common ground. It's made a mess of the charts. So it's just easy to, to look at a chart. And, and grasp some of the ideas on, on a longer time frames, but don't just use that as gospel. And we never do anyways, but even more so now. You can see how quiet it's become this afternoon, not a lot of energy. And that's why anybody that took that, you know, scalp trade south side, you know, think of it as a small profit-taking move from, from these, these longs and uh, obviously, until you take out this swing low here, could still get squeezed even higher. So the good fortune this afternoon really has been the rain line, this 93 area, stalling and coming back. And the best trade was obviously done, get or done Friday. Primary trade done. Play the con trip you want. And then anybody wants to play in the afternoon, trade small. Simple as that. That being said, it's been a good week for the for the Bears. And late day Friday, anything goes. You're coming into the last hour. So I still believe the burden's on the longs. Shorts win by default and will lose some of their profits but the longs are still underwater. So I think it's been a good week for, for the Bears and a step in the right direction. That being said, we like to play day trade type trades. Anybody that shorted that uh, 93 resistance, first target is obviously the 89 to 88. And then if you're still playing and you've got a trailer or you want to hold and see if there's anything left for the end of day trade, fine. But you're never going to let it this trade turn into a loser now. just doesn't make sense. Angel is back here. The 85 zone. So scalp types... Trades if you're playing in risk small. 